well we got a bunch of rain coming so I threw some dirt up I put the metal up against there I didn't screw it in or nothing I just laid it up against there and sloped some dirt this way I got my so-called guttering in place because I haven't hung the guttering yet I wished I would have uh, and then I dug a little channel and that's the French drain right in there actually the French drain runs right right through here so this should keep most of it out that way it doesn't splatter my new t111 with dirt like it did the other day I also threw a couple scrap pieces up here just to keep the water out in case we get some of that twirling rain and that's just gonna have to get wet Unless I find like a shower curtain or something hanging there. But we're not supposed to get a ton of rain today. Tomorrow is when the big monsoons come. So I'm hoping I can get out here today and get the rest of this buttoned up before it does come. Also filled in a little gravel up against there and sloped it back. Well, that's just going to have to work. But I don't think it's going to come in like it used to because that's where it was coming in this hole would fill up with water and then once it was full had nowhere to go and it would just pour into here so that was the issue but we're gonna see i kind of want this rain gives me an idea of what to do all right it's the uh, sun just came up i'm out here i didn't have my coffee yet but i had to get out here rain will be here any minute then we'll get on with the day all right storm is here Glad I moved their dog houses up. Well, look at them trees just oh, way up there. I heard a big crash. I don't know what that was. I kind of want this. Oh yeah, I've got my gutters positioned good. Because I want to test this. Yeah, it dug me a little ditch there. Looks like I got those positioned just right. Yeah, that side needs to come in. Now I gotta go get wet. Alright. Ooh, it's getting nasty. You doing alright in here? Okay, yeah, your your door. Oh man. Coming straight from the west. I don't know what to do about that. One more tile. That's what we go through every time now. It was storms. Every single time. They're never... I don't even have any tiles. Uh, it's just coming in there, Lily. You're wet. You was out there. Alright, we just have to hope it dies down. This is the front of it coming in. Alright, your TV went out. Darn, I wish I had that thing back some. Oh, it's getting water now that the rate's picking up. <laughs> getting some monsoon. Glad I put those up. Staying dry there. We got some water dripping there, but that's expected. Alright, I'll come back to any, anything interesting happens. That's been just pouring. 15 minutes. So far we're good. A little water there. It's trickling down from here because I don't have any of that enclosed up there real good. We're going to fix all that. This is a good test. You can see my little ditch that I dug there starting to work. Everything so far is doing good. Now, I've been wanting something like this to happen while I'm doing the construction because if there's a problem I know where to fix it and I did put more silicone up in there that's not leaking I know I have a leak here nothing yet I did put more there I think I might have that fixed and, uh, nothing happening up here yet 
watching that screw to see if that's where my leak's coming from. No, no water at all here. I've got sufficient flashing. I wonder what's living in that. Yeah, I'm taking on water here because there's nothing there. My bag of cement that I put on the uh, tailgate that is in dead center of the carport. Looks like it's getting wet. That's great. Look at the water flow. Well, we're doing great there. Woo, it's getting even harder. You gotta remember, underneath all that dirt there, there's about four inches of gravel. So far, so good. I'm glad I brought my saw in, because where it was sitting is soaked. Very rarely does rain go into that carport, but it did today. Yep. Still need to do some work in this corner. See it leaking? <laughs> it's running down. I couldn't see it because it's running down this handle of this shovel. It's right there. But them are the kind of things I'm looking for. I've got to fix those kind of things before I can get my interior done and feel safe about it. And it's dying off now, but my little ditch I dug, it seems to be functioning as I planned. And where that broken shovel is there, that's where the French drain is, so that should all soak down. That French drain hasn't seen good water in a while. But you can see up there how the water runs downhill. And, I mean, it hasn't rained long enough, but it looks like it's a whole lot better here than it used to be. Let me go out here. Check out that concrete. And now we've got a couple inches there. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this in a minute, guys. Oh, yeah. We've got both of you in there. You're staying nice and dry, ain't you? All right. This is part of the build, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting any water. See how that? I built that up up against there. And that gutter needs to come in, but I'm not getting wet. Yeah, I will. Set you guys up right there. How you do that. Alright, now we got it lined up. Ah, flood control. I want to make sure all this works because tomorrow they're calling for, I know Tulsa, 7 to 10 inches of rain. Yeah, even if we got that, man, none of this is going to work. It's just all going to flood. See, I built that up. No water's building up there. I gotta do something here. I'm gonna bring gravel in here. I wonder what that loud, loud crash was. All right, guys, I'll come back. Anything interesting happens. So far, so good. I believe that's gonna work. It is getting it on now. See how that flashing that I got? See how that's working? That's going down there. I ain't getting a whole 
lot there. I do have a piece of plastic in there. It's starting to intensify. Go look here. It's all flowing down now. Let's go see if we can see that the French drain's working. It takes a long, long time of rain for this. It'll come out here somewhere. I don't even know where it is anymore. It's right there somewhere. And those are filling up. Those are my actual gutters. Done. Well, all we see is Millie's butt. Millie backwards. Yeah, is that how you got? And you got room for another puppy dog in there. Yeah. Well, we got a couple inches. Because that bowl, that her water bowl, is about half full. And it's almost to the top. There's one of my towels. I don't know what the loud crash was. I ain't found anything. But, uh, this ain't it's gonna be off and on all day there ain't gonna be nothing major today I hope okay, it was coming out of the north that door's wet look at this one this one don't have a care in the world hey you look like a big old mop well hey what are you watching Kitties. I knew secretly you like kitties. Alright though, the good news is no more water here. That would have already been full of water if I hadn't have filled that in with concrete. A little bit coming in here, that's from flowing from the sidewalk. That's getting cut out anyway. We're going to have the doorway with a roof over it. And then I'm going to dig. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, guys. This came to me. I come in here at night, or, or anything I'm working on, I'll come in at night and I'll just look. Come up with ideas. And I came up with a good one. Rather than put a closet here, I'm going to fill this, go all the way out to the edge of the cabin, Put a little square here, fill that in with concrete, and have my little closet right there. That's just big enough to put, uh, you know, a pole in there and hang up clothes, and it would it would help me do something in here, you know. So that's what I'm going to do. I can't get no concrete till tomorrow, which tomorrow's a bust. But come out here just a couple feet, go even with that. Oh, all the way to the sidewalk there. So you would actually walk in the closet and then it'll be a little little piece in there too. You could hang clothes in here and in here. A little coat closet. And that would, that would be easy to do. Just dig this out, fill this with concrete, and just add another wall. And it would look good. Because that'll make it real, you know, even with what we got. Let me jump over here. Yeah, because we're still coming out two feet. So I would probably just go straight. Just a straight wall. Fill this with concrete. And then you have your wall for your entryway. And then the entryway over there. Alright guys, just a short video. I thought you'd want to see what happened when it rained. Uh, no leaks around any of the windows, obviously. We're not going to get those with all the tape that's on there silicone the silicones had time to set up even on this one uh, we're not getting any moisture anywhere none none in there so that's good boy this one opens really nice 
Let's, I haven't checked these. Yeah, they still open nice. I'm going to love this room. And this is going to be a nice room to come sit in during the day. Open your shades. Watch the rain, snow, whatever's going on. You're going to stay warm. These are double, pla double pane glass, so, you know, they should have a good R value. Yeah, you're going to get a little cold in, you know, from because they are windows, but I, I don't know. Every bit of good is insulation, probably. I still going to caulk on the insides. Once we go to do the painting and all that, we'll do that. You can see I hung some of these bamboo. Uh, I'm not keeping these. They were expensive as hell, though, but I just hung them up. So I, can get, so I don't get gapers at night looking in, looking at me and my thong and such. I can't have that. But I would have hung them all up, but I still got these shims sticking out. I can go get the saw and cut them off real quick and hang them up. So I got some temporarily. But probably just going to do blinds in here inside. Have blinds on the inside. I'm not doing any curtains or anything like that. Nobody can, nobody's, there's nothing but 20 miles of forest behind me. So nobody's uh, back here looking in. If they are, they're in trouble. So, pretty good overall. Now we'll, tomorrow will be the real test. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.